Ninh Bình, Vietnam's hidden paradise. Ninh Bình was once the capital of Vietnam in the 10th and 11th centuries, the remnants of this ancient capital known as Hoa Lue. The province is adorned with mesmerizing limestone formation, stunning landscapes like Tam Kok and Chang An, and iconic Mua Caves offering panoramic views of the region. Ninh Bình, located in northern Vietnam, it takes about two and a half hour drive from Hanoi or four hours from Ha Long Bay. Welcome to Ninh Bình! <laughs> we stayed at Ninh Bình Hidden Charm Hotel and Resort, which is located outside of Tam Kok. We found the location perfect for us, since the most of the attractions are around Tam Kok area. The hotel offers a wide range of facilities, including a well-equipped gym, a refreshing pool, a convenient bike rental, on-site ATM service, and a delectable hotel breakfast. Alright, let us show you what you can do in Ninh Bình. Hualu Asian town in Ninh Bình. Here they recreate the daily life and architectural structures to give visitors the most vivid glimpse of Asian Hualu. Hualu Asian town is centrally located in Ninh Bình city. It's common to mistake it for its Hualu Asian capital, which is situated elsewhere. In the same area, you can find Kielan Mountain and Bak Temple. We try ban chang nu, which is a grilled rice paper topped with egg, spring onions, cheese, meat, and a sauce. Ban chang nu was delicious. Our rating, 8 out of 10. What if you wanted to try chui chin or fried bananas? This one tasted okay. Our rating, 6 out of 10. This is one of wifey's favorite dessert, dao hu nuk dung, or silken tofu in ginger syrup. Our rating, 8 out of 10. Family restaurant in Tam Kok serve a typical simple Vietnamese family style dishes. We wanted to try here since we saw the grilling ducks outside the restaurant. One of Ninh Bin's specialty is gam chai or burned rice. It's commonly served as a side dish along meat and vegetables or dipping in sauce. Our rating 8 out of 10. Boat trip on Tam Kok River is one of the most popular attractions in Ninh Bình. Tam Kok, often referred to as the Halong Bay on land, is a mesmerizing natural wonder. This picturesque destination is renowned for its stunning limestone pillars and emerald green rice fields. Tam Kok means three caves in Vietnamese, and it refers to the three natural caves that can be explored by boat trip. We opted for a convenient combo package that include both a boat ride in Tam Kok and an electric car taking us to Big Dong, Pagoda and Thai Vi Temple. The boat trip takes about 1.5 to 2 hours in total. 
be sure to carry water and wear sunscreen, especially on sunny days. Next up is Big Down Pagoda. It's just 3 km from Tamkok and you have the option to walk or rent a bike. However, with Baby Sky with us, renting an electric car was the most convenient choice. Big Dong Pagoda's ornate gate is one of the most iconic sites in Ninben. Big Dong means Emerald Green Grotto. It consists of three pagodas that carry traditional architectural wood and stone styles, some dating back to 15th century. You have to walk and climb to get to every monument. Last stop is Taivi Temple. Taivi Temple is one of the ancient temples in Ninbin, dating back to the 13th century. It holds significant historical importance in the region. The temple is dedicated to the Zhen dynasty, General Zhen Hongdao, a revered figure in Vietnamese history, known for his military prowess and strategic brilliance. We created some banh mi, so we tried banh mi john since it got good reviews. We ordered banh mi and banh mi. It was tasty, but the bread wasn't crispy at all. Our rating, 5 out of 10. Mua Caves, also known as Hang Mua. As the name suggests, there's a cave to be found. But the highlight of Mua Cave is the panoramic view from the top. At the viewpoint, you can enjoy stunning views over Tam Kok River, with mountains around you and a rice field below. Legend has it that Emperor Jun Tai Tong used to watch dance performance on his site, which led to the name Hang Mu or Dancing Cave. The hike was fairly easy on a steep climb around 500 steps, and we used about 20 minutes to reach to the top. This was one of the highlights during our trip to Ninbin. Dragon just climb up the mountain. It was so difficult, so Tuan has to stay there with baby sky. The 
There was nothing special with the cave, so I wouldn't spend much time on this. There's a lot of western food option in Tamkok and Chuki's beer garden was one of our favorites. The food here was really good. Our rating 7 out of 10. Bayadin Pagoda is a must visit site in Ninbin for those who are interested in Buddhism and Vietnamese culture. If you decide to come here, you should set enough time, since it is one of the largest temple complex in Southeast Asia. Exploring the complex can be done by foot or taking an electric car for a fee of 60,000 Vietnamese dong per person. It's perfect on a rainy weather. Let's dig in. Our rating 6 out of 10. We were still hungry and wasn't satisfied with our pho, so we tried another pho place. This place was much better. Our rating 8 out of 10. Chang'an is a popular spot in Ninbin, known for its stunning cliffs formation that include limestone mountains, caves, and rivers. It was designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2014, recognizing its outstanding cultural, natural, and geological values. To see the impressive landscape of Chang'an, you have to take a boat trip. There are currently three boat routes in Chang'an. Route 1 includes 9 caves and 3 temples for you to explore. Route 2 is new and also the most popular because it has a good mix of caves and other sites. You will visit 3 caves, 2 temples and a King Kong village, part of Kong School Island film set. In Route 3, you also visit 3 caves, one which is 1 km, is also the longest in Chang'an. You also visit 2 temples and a film set in King Kong village. We choose Route 3 because it has fewer caves compared to the other options. And same as the boat ride in Tamkok, bring water and wear sunscreen if it's sunny, since the trip takes about 2.5 to 3 hours.
Goat meat is a specialty in Ninbin, and this restaurant is famous for serving goat meat and one of the branch was located not far from our hotel. Many places in Ninbin advertise mountain goat meat, but most of the restaurants are serving farm-raised goats. While mountain goats are usually served during special occasions, like Death or Lunar New Year. The meat was really good, a bit tough and chewy though, but really tasty. To be honest, we didn't know what to order, so the owner made some dishes for us, and we're not sure what the dishes is called. Our rating, 7 out of 10. Thanks for watching, hope you liked our video. Consider to like or subscribe to our channel if you liked our content. Thanks for now, see you next time.